Hi, and welcome to another studio session. It's been a while since I recorded one of these because I was away from my studio. Uh, I was on vacation in Poland. I spent a lot of time with my friends. And now I came back to Norway. I'm back in my studio. I'm trying to settle into the groove of things. And what's some other way to settle in than just record another studio session? Also, I have one bigger video that I recorded when I was still injured. I'm editing it currently, but it still needs some more work. So I just decided to sit down, power on my digit act and do something cool. So the idea for today is fairly simple. Last week I uploaded a video on my Reface DX. It was a sad ambient improvisation and it didn't perform all that well. Whenever stuff like this happens, I like to make something positive out of it. So my usual way of doing it is just to resample it and make something completely new and different from it. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I have it already recorded into my Digitact and I'm about to make a cool trip of tune out of it. So let's start working on it. Okay, so we have our sample. I recorded two variations of it just so I have something more to work with. And I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to go to the slice mode or the slice machine. So I'm going to pitch it around, look for something that sounds cool. I'm vibing with it. So before I will play around more, I think that I just want to have a steady drum beat so I can have some context to go off of. So let's go to track one. Okay, I'm thinking about going the usual route of just making a drum loop and then resampling it, chopping it up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have this little loop that I used in one of the tracks that I worked on off camera. I'm going to go to the machine. I'm going to repitch, going to place the trick here and now it should be on tempo. Okay, it's sounding a little bit wacky, but maybe we can figure out how to fit it. Okay, right now it sounds like it's nothing special, because it isn't. But I'm going to see if I can contextualize it a little bit nicer, and then I will decide if I want to keep it or if we're just getting rid of it. I think that the pitch of this uh, loop doesn't really work for me. So instead of repitching it, I'm going to maybe warp. Okay. <laughs> that's that's a little weird, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know, am I crazy? This sounds kind of cool. Okay, having that, let's go back to the sample. Okay, that sounds pretty cool and there is a lot of possibility for cool variations. So right now I'm going back to the drum loop, I'm going to add a hi-hat that's going to be a little bit more dominant in the drum loop and then we're going to see what happens next. Lower in volume. And let's make it also lower in velocity. Let's copy those, place them here. Okay, I think that I will resample this drum loop as it is right now, and then we're going to proceed to working on the sample and the chops and the bassline and all of the rest of the track. And okay, right now I'm putting it through the slice machine. I'm going to place some tricks, and of course I'm going to start with random locks, something that I really like to do. 
Okay, that's way too chaotic. Or actually, let me proceed with linear locks for once. How about another semitone down? Okay, this has quite a nice feel to it. I'm not sure if this is going to be the main idea behind the track, but I'm going to record it anyway, and then we're going to see where the inspiration takes us. So let me just go to the length of this track. Let me make sure that it's 64 steps, master length, 64 steps as well. And now I can start recording. And now we can start messing with the effects and processing and all this fun stuff. So let's do it. Let's pull it through some reverb. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm vibing with that ring on the hi-hat, so maybe I will try to pinpoint where it is with the EQ. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad. Right now it's very bare bones, but I can tell that there's some potential in there. Okay, so I think that with the other sample that I recorded, I'm going to place it somewhat randomly on the grid and then try to figure out something cool with LFOs and automation and all that sort of stuff, just to help myself come up with another part. That's a little bit annoying to listen to. Okay, I'm not so sure about this part, so for now, I'm just going to mute it and I'm going to move on. Let's browse the factory sounds and see if we can find something that will work as a baseline. Alright, and I think right now we might try and compress it, see how that sounds. Yeah, I definitely don't vibe with that part. The best way to do it is just to clear every page and load the sample back in and then see what comes out of it. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm going to automate the filter uh, frequency with the LFO. Yeah, and I think that now the move is to pan it.
Okay, this is a pretty decent starting point for a more complex track. And I'm considering making a beat tape out of the beats that I made so far in the studio sessions, just picking and choosing the best ones and trying to compile them into a nice little EP or something like that. And yeah, I can definitely see myself refining this a little bit more and releasing it. All right, so I'm going to wrap up the session here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you wish to support me, check out my Patreon or buy me a coffee. And let me know if you would like to hear that beat tape with more refined versions of the beats that I'm making during this studio session. So yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you're doing well and I will see you next time. Take care.